Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you're new here, thank you for stopping by. My name is Jian and in this video I'm going to show you how I decorate my um, spread for the 12th to the 18th of July on my big catch-all happy planner. Um, I will be using colorful boxes uh, because it's very functional and also I am going to, it's falling apart, um, Live Love Bosch Whimsical Summer and I will be um, doing the International Planner Collab uh, Summer well, it's not summer, but it's the um, uh, seasons. So, because it's um, it's international, so obviously not everyone is celebrating or living through um, the same season. So, um, you choose the theme for your um, for your weekly spreads um, for the season you are in. So, in this case, I'm in summer. Um, and I will be um, using that theme so if you were for example in the southern hemisphere you will be um, going through winter so I was planning actually uh, something a little bit different but um, unfortunately um, I was expecting some happy milk which hasn't arrived so that's okay we work with what we have and I am choosing summer because I love this page. I mean, look at it, it's just divine. Um, so I have already used um, two stickers from it, from it. It's not exactly two sheets of the same. Um, sometimes Jessica does um, two sheets of the same, like for example here. These two are identical, I think. Yes, they are. So, um, she does that, but for the last um, two pages, they are slightly different. And at the end is two pages of uh, script, and I will be using these ones as well. So I am combining these with colorful boxes, because there is actually a few boxes here that match the color scheme in this um, in these flowers here and it will be interesting because I haven't I think it's two maybe three weeks that I haven't used any flowers uh, in my spread so I felt like something was missing I could also use the greens if I have the right green yes I have um, this green will go and the one that it's slightly darker uh, yeah, that one can also be used. Let me see if I have small ones. I have one left of the dark one, but that's okay. So I'm just going to open this in here um, because I'm I'm trying to. Um, well, the last video I did, which has not been uploaded to YouTube, and that is the fault of my app. Um, I use InShot for um, for editing my videos and unfortunately there has been a bug. Um, quite a few people, including a, um, a planner friend that I follow, Just Starkey, uh, she also had issues uh, with um, saving, which is the converting um, portion of, uh, of the editing. So um, that's where the bug is and it just doesn't save so it doesn't convert and unfortunately I tried many times <laughs> doing a few things and it didn't work so when I have um, when that is sorted I will be using a different app to edit this video um, but also I need to uh, cut it down to a decent um, a decent length of time um, but uh, the previous week, which is the one ending on the 11th, um, that video uh, will come. I cannot say when exactly, but it will come. I will upload it to my channel. 
if you're interested in um, seeing um, that one you're more than welcome so um, let's start uh, here um, I want to use um, let me show you very quickly um, this is a daily that I've used here um, I just put a, a long um, quote here um, it's, I, I've only been use, using this um, very recently um, I started it in July so um, uh, for here I didn't um, fill this week um, my beautiful boy passed away so I, I, I didn't I didn't do anything on it so the plan was to put my dinners here uh, but I didn't so um, this for this spread I'm not sure whether I want to do that because I have plenty of space within the spread to do it so uh, since Jessica's um, I think since Jessica's uh, um, book is tends to be very um, for decoration more than uh, functionality although she obviously this is it it's inspiring um, I don't think I have a very long box for that um, which doesn't matter but I think I want to I want to use this space I'm going to just bring very quickly if I can manage to find it um, let's see I was sort of thinking um, to use this one on the side so let's put this page here for a moment so I was trying to Just decorate here because that gives me um, I want to use both sheets um, and that on the other side so I will try to sort of um, frame my um, shall I frame at the top or at the bottom because that could be done as well although this one is quite small I was thinking the bigger one for the other side so I just I'm just going to take this here and I'm going to take all the corners see which ones go best where um, this can go on a line so that's not bad and then there is this one this is a very small one see whether where we can put that so I'm going to bring this one because I want to put this one here but maybe because it's always there uh, we tend to, we tend to always put it there what if we do it here and then we heavily frame the top section with this one here but more to the edge so it can um, it can occupy this section here that I will not necessarily use this week I'm still finding my way and then perhaps this one here or even here we'll see and then this one down here it will go probably on this side because it's um, it's quite large yeah I think I'll do that um, so let's start with this one here it will impede with my dinners though so I 
because I always put the dinners at the bottom. I don't have to, you can put your dinners anywhere you wish. Um, there is no prescription, as I said last time. Um, Okay, I like that, and it's the first time that I use um, orange, really. I have not used um, so, much, so much orange in my spread before. Um, since in Sunday is tend to be a quiet day for me, um, it's okay if the sticker takes most of the space. I'm just aligning to the line. Okay, so that's how it's going to look. Um, I think I like that. Now, we could bring this more in the middle. I am not sure whether I will be using a washi because I don't really have um, orange washi. I have a sort of brownish washi and I do have this one from Archer and Olive um, and it has a little bit of orange um, but and green but also purple and um, gold um, so I'm not sure whether I should use that um, yes I don't have anything else in orange um, I think I'm going to hold on to these for the time being because I put this here. Or I could even put it here, but it overlaps with that one. So not so much. I could I could bring it more down, and then I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't really look okay. So mm, this one it's quite winny. We could do this here. But let's see because I want to use everything that's here. Um, so we're just going to pull them out. If I don't use them all, I can always put them put them back um, this one has a cut and I tore it a bit so um, yeah th that can aid the other one so that's that one and we have some makeup which details is fantastic I think um, you can uh, recognize the brand immediately I love this hat and of course the cocktail, I already used the other cocktail in a summer um, bucket list which I haven't shared yet. I shall do uh, at some point, probably this week, I think that's it. And then it's the um, 
the quotes which I will put to the side here it's going to be a quite heavy but this is a big spread so um, now let's see I was going to do um, at the end of June <clears throat> I thought of doing um, uh, on the 14th of July is a, is a national um, day for uh, France so I thought of uh, using a similar theme, theme to the 4th of July you know red um, blue and white but summer it is um, I can do that later um, on another um, planner if if I have it um, I may have already pre-planned for those but never mind um, so where are we going to put this I think I want to start with the hat so um, I'm just going to take a lot of um, or as much as I can the um, the glue out because um, in case I need to change it I feel like in the middle sort of in the middle I'll put it lightly here that way if we we if I change my mind it will be easier to remove think in here does I wouldn't take as much but I'm, uh, I'm just going to um, play around with this side because Yeah, I think I like this here. I'm just going to be finicky and slightly better. We can cut, cut that a little. We can cut that a little later. I'm getting a bit froggy. Um, I think I want this here. That's better. Okay. Okay. Mm. The thing is, I this repeats again from there. Although we might disguise it with. It's actually quite different. Um, slightly different positions of the products. Um, we might have to put that one back tint glow sun kissed okay
I am going to slightly change here onto this side. Let's see, we don't want to cut a lot, so just here. I like this here. Now that's there. So we can put this here. And we start getting into Let's see, I need a box for Monday, even though today is Monday, by the way. I'm filming this on Monday because I was, I was quite, um, it's not busy, but it was something that, um, what do I want, a big box? No, I think for Monday, it's a s two smaller boxes, because I, I'm going to put lines. Um... Actually, I think I'm going to move this slightly more up so it gives me enough to um, write what I need to write. So I'm going to put this one here. Just very simply, line with the bottom line and a slightly bigger box, or I'm going to put lines there. If I put lines here, I can put a small box for my dinner. I'm just eyeballing it. Sometimes I use my ruler, um, my clear ruler to to have it straight um, in terms of boxes for writing. Um, but um, today I am eyeballing it, so. We could overlay this one here. Maybe I should do greens. Let's do, let's have a look at the greens. I have very few of these ones. I have a square one. It's part of me. I hope you didn't hear that. But if you did, I'm really sorry. Okay, this is better. Is there a bigger one of this? No, indecisive, indecisive. What I'm going to do is place my lines. I need to access my stencil, which is very bad pre-planning. Um, my stencil is not on this one. So I will have to cut this portion out of the video. So 
um, I'm going to take my Micron 01 and I'm going to come here and I'm going to align to have a few lines on mon Monday in the middle section. Okay, that's better. I might move that here. And I'm going to place lines here. Okay, so we have lines now. Um, I am going to see the first thing I want to do. I'm just going to use my X-Acto knife to lift um, the corner. That aids um, sometimes. Unfortunately, it got it broke a little bit, um, lifted up a bit. Um, not the glue side, so I'll have to put some glue in there. Um, I'm just going to eyeball to this line that it's sort of straight. If it's still um, wrinkly, you just go with anything that's flat but not uh, too abrasive um, and smooth it out. This I cannot smooth, I have to put glue somehow there. Okay, so that's not bad. Now here I wanted to use this box. Maybe here. I think I can overlap these two, so I'm going to lift the corner and place this one, changing my mind again. again. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's not bad. I may actually lift it here. Hopefully it doesn't, it's a bit late. Okay. And we're just going to lift this. Get rid of the run the wrinkles and smooth it back down. That's better. So we have a sort of line going down there or up there. Um, I can see the lines from behind here. Um, Let's see. I 
I don't have anything particularly for Tuesday, but I'm just checking that. Yeah, okay. Okay, we have this one. We can overlap these two. I think I like that. I'm quite happy with um, this page. I'm just going to just smooth this slightly, flatten it, and I am going to cut this little bit here. That was a terrible cut. Then we have this side. I'm happy with that cocktail there. Mm, I'm happy with this here. So we need um, boxes. We need small reddish boxes or orangey boxes. We don't have the same greens. Either light green, we have checklist, but the checklist, oh, we have that other one okay and small ones okay this is not a right color dot grid is too light We need one box on Friday, so let's do the green. small red for something we need more green Not the greenest store, it's the front. Okay. We have this. We have actually a checklist of the same. We could do some fun by putting a checklist on Thursday. 
How do I want to do it? Upside down? Let's see. Or... This way. But because it's so... It's much smaller than... Uh, in, in here than... Uh, in the... Um, Okay, I'm going to align here. It's not totally exact. It's not bad. Now, I shouldn't be filling in all the spaces with boxes because we have the script and one that I would love to use is Sunrise, Sunburn, Sunset, Repeat. And we, we might have lost space for it, but we can always cut it. Um, or not, actually. Since this flower, it's already here and basically in all the corners. We are going to align. Here. See whether I can get rid of this. This is a, um, a mark from my nails. Unfortunately, it's uh, always that when it's better, but it's not a hundred percent gone. And now there is another one. When you paint, um, when you use dark nail varnish. So that's one. Uh, which was tropical state of mind? Palm trees, salty breeze, wild seas, aquaholic. We already have beach please there you had me at aloha every summer has its story the trick to anything is believing believing you can do it mm. live in the sunshine beach please live in the sunshine Living the sunshine, sunrise, burn, sunburn, sunset, repeat. I'm just going to pull this one out. And I think that A possible way where it can fit is here but I don't know so I'm going to put it lightly and leave it there for the time being I think we need another box here although I can write um, I can do hand lettering with my um, a brush pen so it will match this so it's not too bad if there is no box there I think th those are the only two quotes that I'm going to use from this book and I think we need a couple of more boxes here and we have these two so we can overlap um, the other way, um, the opposite way of here. It's the, um, the greens are 
higher up here too actually so we can do the reverse something like this it's not totally perfect but something like that and I'm going to try and cut it straight which is going to be unlikely and then I will try and see whether I can cut um, let me try with one of my cards this way around without putting my, f my head in front of the camera. Let's see whether it's going to work. And hopefully I don't cut through the page. I was doing uh, uh, my social media spread yesterday and unfortunately I cut through the page that was so painful so so painful but that's how we learn okay I don't think I will be able to leave this so I'm just going to smooth it with my bone folder sorry about the noise so that's slightly better the cut is a bit off I have ordered more blades because I think these blades are getting blunt um, I think I'm done um, yes i don't think it needs anything extra uh, if anything i can always um, find a way to fill in the gaps but i found that uh, last week i i was happy with some um, negative space around so i think this is it i think it's this has been the sh not the shortest but one of the shortest videos uh, of planning that i've done so I have these few that I need to put back into um, Jessica's book. Well, it's my book, but it's by Jessica. Um, Live Love Bosch, um, which is Whimsical Summer. I have used both sheets and these are left. So five of them. Um, and I have also used colorful boxes 
and this is my final spread for the week of um, the 12th to the 18th of July. I hope you like it. Um, if you did, please comment below. Um, and if you are happy um, with how I did it, please give me a thumbs up. That will help me um, uh, with my channel. And if you would like to see any more of my future videos, uh, please consider subscribing and I will be seeing you here or over on Instagram. I will put my handle in the description box and I wish you a beautiful week and happy planning. Bye!